Greetings. Another component that needs to be understood before writing a full application is the service manager. A service is a component that has resources available to the entire application. Now, you could get away in small applications by writing a model that can be accessed through a singleton instance, but that can get out of hand very quickly and service manager provides a much better way to handle common functionalities. There are many ways in which you can instantiate an object that you want to share across an entire application. That's why the Zen Service Manager gives you such a flexibility in styles in which you can define those instances. An instance of an object that you want to share as a service can be done in either as an abstract factory, an alias, a factory, invocable, or as a service. The simplest one is an alias, where you just take an existing service and give it a different name. Or you may want to take just a regular model object and use that as a service. But then you have to make sure that it doesn't need any parameters for the construct. The factory is the most flexible one as it allows you to have additional custom code that can be run before the instance of the object that you want to share is created. To show this by example, I will create basic foundation for the CRUD application needed to read and write our blog posts. I will start by defining a service that will be responsible to communicate to the database to read the blog posts. This is a perfect opportunity to start a models directory where such things will be done. So the post data mapper will be a service that is going to be accessible to the entire application for database purposes related to posts. Later on, I will properly subdivide this into the directories. Right now, I'm just trying to keep it one topic at a time to get through the services. And for here, I'm going to define a namespace where the data mapper will belong. In our case, it's still inside of the tutorial. Models, that's the new space. That's the new child namespace of the tutorial that I'm declaring. And inside of this child, I'm having an actual class, post data mapper. And just for now, give it some simple property uh, such as dbcon, why not, and because that's what I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to create an invocable service out of this. So I need to make sure that I can instantiate it standalone as is. I'm going to do my preliminary test inside of the block controller. I just want to see if that class can be created in the first place. I will first of all define the namespace so we can find it. I already done that actually. Oh well. And just for testing, post data mapper new post data mapper. It should be instantiable without any parameters for invocables to work. Breakpoint. Okay, so the class by itself works. Now let's set it as a invocable service. Back over at modules. According to the manual, we need to have a function called get service config that will return an array of all the services that needs to be instantiated. This will return an array of all the types of services that we need. At the moment, we want an invocable service 
we can verify that we get in our names correctly. It is invocables. I really like how this time around I can actually use Zen Framework 2's manual. Version 1 manual wasn't all that great. So I'm going to give this a uh, name. It's a post data mapper. It doesn't have to be exact same name as the class name. I'm just choosing to call it this way. And I will give it the full name of the class, which is tutorial models post data mapper okay so that's the service that will be invoked defined and now to get it i will have to first of all get the service manager a service manager is available inside of the action controllers property which can be fetched using get service locator so that gives us our service manager service manager in turn has the proper uh, method get where you can search for the services so I'm currently searching for the service called post data mapper Put that there and once I run application the PDM should have all the data that the post data mapper has I'm having a problem right now it tells me that I was unable to fetch or create an instance of post data mapper so I have an issue somewhere with the way I have defined it that's because I'm not actually returning this array so there you go that's a nice tip if you have an issue with a service not found exception look at the get service config function and make sure that your array is properly set up and over here there we go we still have the information for the instance of the post data mapper class and nice thing about it that is a single instance that will be carried through within to the entire application if you want to enforce a new instance every time you want the service called then you set the shared property to false right now once that instance is created for the data mapper it will be carried through to any other places where i am calling that service okay so what if i want some additional flexibility for that i can use the factory method where i have a function defined with some additional code that i can run as opposed to just invoke as a side note notice that there is already a service manager key defined in the modules configuration file so why am i not putting my service definitions in here why am i doing it elsewhere inside of my module well that's because i'm not comfortable putting actual logical php code inside of the file that is just designated for configurations i feel that the instantiations of services is a much more complex subject and it should be put inside of the file that actually has room in terms of style at least for functional php code so now it is a bad idea to hit a database every time we want to query for something what if when i'm asking for a say article based on its id pdm let's just say for example get post by id and and we'll give it a post ID. And it's not going to work because I haven't defined the get post by ID function. But just for the argument's sake, let's just assume this works. What if another part of the application has already fetched this particular post ID? The case for this could be some kind of summary on a sidebar of your blog website, 
you have the main article and then you have most recently read or reading articles on the side panel there's a chance that a single page may be looking at the same article more than once you do not want to go to the database for the same information more than once because that's too much overhead for that we will introduce an identity map that keeps track of all the data that has been queried from the database so instead of calling a post data map we're going to be calling post identity map which will check that the value has already been created or not if it has it puts it from the cache in memory if it hasn't then it goes to the post data mapper these details will be ironed out when we get into our database side of xanthium f2 for now i will just create the basics hard code some things just to get off the ground i will call this post identity map same drill make sure it leaves in the appropriate namespace i will later on actually put the entire post in its own namespace but i want to keep this short as possible And here I have a constructor. That takes in an instance of data mapper. This way I'm not limiting myself to the specific type of database. I'm have a data mapper for my SQL database, or I'm have a data mapper for PostgreSQL database. The identity map shouldn't care which one it is, so to swap the databases interchangeably as per our requirements. I will set the database type dynamically like this. This is a simple introduction, if you will, to the concept of dependency injection. okay so now we go back over here and we need to create an instance for the post identity map and with the power of php 5.4's lambda functions i can create a function definition as an array value interesting point to note is that the service manager calls this function with a parameter of its own instance so just to illustrate what actually happens here when i Post identity map. Take that out so I don't get too many errors. So when I try to call that, note how the function takes in an instance of the entire service manager. We can take advantage of that by having this factory all other services that's very convenient because then i can have post identity map that i need get the post data mapper because remember i need the data mapper to instantiate the identity map and where am i going to get the data mapper but from no other place than the service manager and the service manager is given to me as the parameter of that function
Okay. Now the post identity map is happy and I can return it. So now that I have all of that defined, if I have a breakpoint here, I will be able to get the identity map that has the post data mapper attached to it as its private property. And indeed that is the case. And if I don't want to use PostgreSQL, I can define a different service. Maybe I can define a post post GraySQL data mapper versus post MySQL data mapper and then I can accordingly switch the construct parameter for the identity map. So that takes care of services and next time we should be able to create something more interesting with views.